Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. So this tutorial is mainly about textures overlay and I'll try to explain how textures overlay can change uh, the whole look of your design. And uh, yep, so if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe my channel. And if you want this PST file, then it's available for my Patreon supporter and you can find my Patreon link in the description list below. So with that note, let's dive into the video. And first thing first, let's create an artboard. So for, for that, go to file, click on new. And I'll just go with 4x5 and let's click on create. And right after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. And let's make it a little bigger. Just like, so maybe some more. Yep, let's, let's keep it like that. And then right after that, let's uh, drag and drop another uh, texture from here. So let's keep it as a background and let's keep it under this layer. So control T, let's make it a little smaller. Just like so. All right, now let's add a hue and saturation and let's desaturate everything and let's click on clip to layer. So this hue and saturation will affect only this layer one and let's do some color adjustment for this uh, main image so select this one go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and uh, from here let's drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows let's increase clarity let's increase texture and let's dehaze it just like that and let's click on okay so this is what we got and then Right after, let's drag and drop this texture, like a uh, paper texture PNG right over here. And let's move it on the top. Let's right click, release clipping max and let's control T. Let's rotate it in this size or yep, let's keep it like that. Yep, I'll just keep it like that and then let's change the color overlay to kind of similar darker color maybe let's go for more darker yep just like so and let's add some text and let's change the color to kind of similar dark color control T let's make it bigger Yep, and let's keep it all the way to the bottom right over here and let's make a one more copy control J and let's move it above this text layer and let's add a stroke and for the stroke color let's uh, keep a keep the stroke as I think let's keep it as white and then let's uh, drop down the field to zero and let's right click rasterize the layer and let's convert it as a smart object now let's create a layer max go to brush and let's erase uh, some of these textures just like strokes just like so maybe let's remove from here too and let's add some text right over here and let's uh, change the font size to something like that. Let's keep it like that. And then let's drag and drop another texture. So this wall texture on very top. And then let's change the blending mode to multiply. Uh, control T. Let's uh, make it a little smaller. Just like so. And then let's drop down the opacity for this background. Yep, just like so. And then let's make a one more copy control J of this paper texture and let's change the color overlay to kind of similar like this color maybe yep like that and control T let's move it on the very bottom just 
just like so and let's keep it under this text let's move it just like so and then let's add some saddles so let's go over here create a new layer go to brush and let's go for a general soft round brush and let's make sure the color is black and then yep just like so and let maybe let's drop down the opacity let's go to eraser tool let's erase some of these parts from here maybe some from here too and maybe let's add a one more to take one right over here And let's add a curve on very top so let's increase just like so maybe let's increase the shadows too just like that and then let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e let's make a copy ctrl j let's go to filter and let's go to neural filter Let's turn on that skinny smoothing and maybe let's increase some more and let's go to oh, style crossbar let's click on on and let's go for let's go for this one let's click on preserve color and then uh, let's drop down the style opacity yep let's keep it yep let's keep it like that and now let's increase the strength just a little touch yep and let's click on ok so yep this is what we got and that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye